Hello ghost hunters, Tommy here, ghost tour guide, Edinburgh spookologist, teller of dark spooky tales. So I'm standing beside the Mercat Cross here, on the Royal Mile in the centre of Edinburgh's old town. And I'm going to tell you a ghost story about John Cheesley, who was known as Johnny One Arm. Now this story goes back to 1689, and it's a story of murder, brutal execution, and bizarre haunting. So I'm just going to go up here to St Giles, the steps of St Giles up here, to get some peace to tell you this story. Now John Cheesley, he was a merchant from Dalry, near Edinburgh, and he'd separated from his wife, but he refused to pay her any financial support to bring up the children. So his wife took him to court to get the money, and the judge ordered that he had to pay £93 a year to his wife. That was a hell of a lot of money in 1689 when our story takes place. And John Cheesley was absolutely furious about this, so he vowed to murder the judge as revenge. The judge in question was a man called Sir George Lockhart. He was a senior judge in Edinburgh at that time, a very powerful and very important man, and he lived on the lawn market on a close which no longer exists. It was called Old Bank Close. And it's where the Bank of Scotland now stands and where George IV Bridge is. So he had a big house there, Sir Judge Lock Lockhart. And what happened was John Cheesley planned to murder him here at St Giles Cathedral on Easter Sunday because he knew that Lockhart was going to come here to the morning service. So he turned up here with a gun and he planned to shoot him in the middle of the service, but he couldn't get a seat close enough to the judge. So he had to change his plan. So he waited for the service to finish and he followed George Lockhart back to his house up in the lawn market. And he actually shot him in the back outside his front door on Old Bank Close. The judge was quickly taken inside and he died shortly afterwards. Now Cheesley didn't try to flee or run away. He was actually really proud of what he did and he stood on the street and he said, I have killed the judge. I have taught him justice. So he was arrested and he was taken to the infamous Tollbooth prison which stood just round the corner here beside St Giles, an infamous horrible prison and they tortured him because they had to find out if he'd worked on his own or he had accomplices. So they crushed his fingers, they crushed his feet and his legs but he would not admit to any accomplices, he'd done this alone as an act of revenge. Now the execution took place the following day just along here at the Mercat Cross. If I turn my camera around, let's see. So that structure there with the unicorn on top of the pillar, that's the Mercat Cross. So they brought John Cheesley here. They chopped off his right arm and they held it in front of his face. That's the arm that held the gun that shot George Lockhart. They then tied the gun around his neck and they hanged him here at the Mercat Cross. Now, after the hanging, they left his body to hang in chains and rot away as a deterrent to other people who might think of murdering powerful judges. But the body disappeared after three days. No one knows what happened to it. And after that happened, there were strange reports of a sinister ghostly figure stalking the streets and the closes of the old town with only one arm. People started to call this thing Johnny One Arm, perhaps the ghost of John Cheesley. And many years later, when they were renovating his family home at Dalry, they discovered a skeleton of a man with only one arm. So it's thought that his family stole the body and buried it in secret at the family house. This here, where the scaffolding is, is where Old Bank Close was. This is where George Lockhart lived. This is where he was shot dead, just here, on the lawn market here. And the ghost of Johnny One Arm is said to haunt the narrow closes and alleyways around here at Edinburgh's Lawn Market. So keep your eyes out for the ghost of John Cheesley.